if you have already started your gate preparation or even if you are yet to start the preparation or if you have already completed the syllabus but you are going to have the revision so one common question which comes in every student's mind is what should be the correct order the correct sequence of the subjects to study or to have the efficient revision for your better performance in the examination so in today's session i am going to discuss the right order or the right sequence of the subjects for mechanical engineering for the efficient preparation as well as the efficient revision which can give you better and better marks in your gate examination so basically the selection of the subject is divided or is based on three parameters number 1 the weightage of a particular subject in the examination most of the students believe that the subject which carries the highest weightage or the maximum marks in the examination should be completed first and the subject which carries the lowest marks or the lowest weightage should be covered in the last number 2 based on the difficulty level of the particular subject in this parameter students have biased opinion some students believe that the subjects which are difficult should be completed first because we are more energetic when we start our preparation we are more energetic more positive we can we can sit for longer duration so the subjects which are difficult should be completed first when when we are having more potential more energy to study and the subjects which are easier can be completed in the last even if you do not get time to complete those subjects uh, much still we can manage to get the marks in, on in those particular subjects because we already know about those subjects but there are students who believe that the simple subjects should be covered first so that maximum syllabus can be covered in the beginning so that we do not feel tension we do not feel stressed that the the, the more syllabus is left number 3 is based on the type of the subject there are two type of subjects one is basic or the fundamental core subject and the second is the subjects which are application based so most of the students or it is always better to start your preparation or to to uh, give those subjects priority which are fundamental which are basic because the application comes later on application based subjects requires the concepts of the fundamental subjects right so let me first talk about the various subjects in mechanical engineering for your gate examination or any other examination in general one subject is thermodynamics and its applications it is a single subject for gate but in engineering services basic thermodynamics is one subject and there are three applications one is refrigeration and air conditioning one subject ic engine another subject and power plant engineering the third subject so uh, the syllabus of thermodynamics and its application is very large in case of engineering services but it is comparatively small in case of gate exam then the fluid mechanics along with its application which is hydraulic machines the hydraulic turbine as well as hydraulic pump then the heat transfer the next subject is engineering mechanics or the mechanics of rigid bodies which we study in 11th standard then comes the strength of materials or the mechanics of solid bodies mechanics of solids then the theory of machines and vibrations the next is 
design of the machine elements and the next subject is manufacturing engineering or the production engineering and then is industrial engineering and operation research material science is part of the production engineering only so i have not uh, taken it is as a separate subject so if we talk about the sequence of the subjects then we need to divide all the subjects these are the technical subjects there are uh, engineering mathematics engineering aptitude also which comes in gate paper but i am only focusing on the technical part i will discuss about the engineering mathematics in the later part of our session so the subjects are mainly divided into three parts one is the thermal engineering thermal portion which includes the fluid mechanics and the fluid mechanics is asked for around 7 to 9 marks in gate exam i am writing m4 marks here then comes the thermodynamics and its application which carries around 9 to 12 marks in your gate paper and the next one is the heat transfer which carries around 5 to 7 marks in the gate paper these three subjects mainly cover the th thermal engineering then the design part the subjects which are covered in design part is engineering mechanics which carries around 3 to 6 marks that is the mechanics of rigid bodies then strength of materials uh, mechanics of solids which carries around 7 to 9 marks in your gate paper then theory of machines and vibration also carries around 9 to marks 9 7 to 9 marks in gate and then the machine design the machine design carries around 4 to 5 marks in your gate paper that is the these are all subjects which are part of design the next one is manufacturing or production which carries material science generally material science is not asked much 1 to 3 marks sometimes it is not asked even for a single marks not even a single question is asked from the material science but production engineering is one of the highest carrying weight is carrying subject it is asked for 14 to 16 marks in technical portion and then the industrial engineering and operation research it carries around 4 to 5 marks in your gate paper all right so these are the various subjects and the subjects are divided in three major portions uh, the thermal part design part and manufacturing part now how to start your preparation what should be the criteria for the selection of the subjects to have the better revision better preparation so out of these three major portions i would always recommend with without any doubt i would say manufacturing should be taken in the last even if you are starting your preparation or even if you are having your revision manufacturing that involves the material science production as well as the industrial engineering should be taken in the last all right so there are two options we are left with one is design another is thermal so it is should actually be based on the fact that if you are more comfortable in the design part then you should start your preparation or the revision with the design subjects if you are more comfortable with the thermal part then you should start your preparation with the thermal subjects because that all the design subjects are having the the connection between the concepts interconnecting concepts similarly all the thermal engineering subjects fm thermal thermodynamics and heat transfer 
all these subjects are having the intermixing concept. So either you complete the design or you complete the, the thermal first. It should be dependent on whether you are more comfortable with the design or more comfortable with the thermal. 60% of the student, what I have observed, 60 or more percent of the students are more comfortable in thermal part, whereas 40 or even less than 40% of the mechanical engineering students are more comfortable in design part. So, because I teach thermal engineering, so I am more comfortable in thermal part. So, I will give you my preferred order or my preferred sequence of the subjects. I will start with the thermal engineering. So, fluid mechanics is basic and fundamental subjects. You should start your preparation with the fluid mechanics. Very, very interesting subject and very important from your examination point of view. So, in fluid mechanics, you should spend around 60 to 70 hours to complete your fluid mechanics along with the hydraulic machines. Then, go for thermodynamics and its applications. Because applications involves some time to cover basic thermodynamics does not take much time, but application part is a little vast. So you should spend around 90 to 100 hours. I am talking about the study, first time study, not revision. Accordingly, you can divide your time for the revision as, as well. Then the heat transfer, heat transfer is comparatively smaller subject as well as it carries little lesser weightage in the gate examination. So heat transfer should be given with 50 to 60 hours. So this should be the order. Start with the fluid mechanic, then thermodynamics and then the heat transfer. Then once your thermal part is completed, then go for the design part. The sequence for the design part is, I would not recommend you to start with the engineering mechanics because engineering mechanics, whatever the engineering mechanics is required in understanding these design subjects, you must already be knowing. It is not a big deal, but because the syllabus is comparatively vast, it will take more time, but the weightage is very small. So do not go with the engineering mechanics rather than you should start with the strength of materials, which is again a beautiful fundamental basic subject. So you should give around 60 to 70 hours to complete your strength of material subject in detail. Then after this, go for the theory of machines along with the vibration also should be given as 60 to 70 hours. Then after this, go for machine design. Machine design is small subject, carries less weightage. So it should not be given more than 25 to 30 hours. Right? So this should be the sequence for the design. Then the remaining portion that is the manufacturing. Do not start with the material science. It does not carry much weightage, so you should keep it in the last. Start with the production engineering, which is the highest weightage carrying subject in technical portion. Mathematics and aptitude also carries the similar type of weightage, but production is, is the highest weightage carrying in technical part. So, and the syllabus is quite vast, so it should be given around 120 to 130 hours. Then after this, go for industrial engineering. Industrial engineering should be given around 30 to 40 hours only. Right? So this should be the sequence in my opinion. Your sequence may vary slightly. If you are if you want to start with the design, that is also fine. If you want to start with thermal, that is also fine. But inside the thermal or the design, the sequence should be like that only. Right? So, finally, if I conclude, then this should be the right sequence. C 
start with the fluid mechanics then go for thermodynamics and its application then the heat transfer then strength of materials then the theory of machines then machine design then production engineering and then industrial and then you can go for engineering mechanics as well as last you can study the engineering mathematics because the engineering mathematics is not as such required in understanding these technical subjects but because it is the the highest carrying weight is carrying subject so if you will keep it in the last then your technical uh, study will not get disturbed and once you will keep engineering mathematics in in the last the, there will be fair chances of scoring better in the mathematics portion as well so that is all from my side i hope you you uh, agree with my sequence if you have anything to say anything to discuss you can always connect with me thank you and have a nice day jai hind